Hello, hola, bonjour, konnichiwa, erende. We're back. It's Sheets Disabled, and we're here with another Resident Evil 2 absolute banger. Now, there are three episodes, including this one, left of our Wesky Part 1 campaign before we switch gears and hop over to our Lady Claire Bear. But, yeah great day we're recording this on labor day i hope you're having an amazing day i hope you're having an amazing day when you watch this remember to like comment share subscribe tell your friends tell your fam tell your enemies your frenemies everybody your snapchat associates uh people on your okay cupid or plenty of fish or whatever facebook dating app you're using let them know hey let's have a date let's get some popcorn let's relax on the couch Throw our man Cheats Disabled up on the big screen and have a great night. And with that being said, let's roll that footage. All right, so we are back where we left off. Uh, this episode, like I said, is going to be a little bit shorter, actually. The last one was longer. This one is going to be shorter um, because... This is going to have all the stuff I wanted to include in the last episode, but I felt would have ran long, but it gives us a good stopping point. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful Labor Day. I'm recording this audio on Labor Day. I know that you won't hear it until after Labor Day, but I hope you had a great Labor Day. And I hope that your day when you meet this wonderful part of the walkthrough is also fantastic i hope every day you have is fantastic honestly because you're great people um anyway i'm super excited i had a great day um we are moving through this section of the game which is completely optional um this is us getting stuff for the magnum as i said ad nauseum you don't need the magnum you can completely skip the magnum in its entirety you don't need it but since we've got it and we're doing a full get everything run i'm gonna show you where everything is and uh yeah so we we took that film that we got in the treatment lab we just developed it because you will not see this thing unless you develop the film it's just the the button prompt won't be there you won't be able to grab it so now we're running back to the star's office we're running to our desk wesker's desk and we are grabbing this wonderful red dot sight that goes on our magnum we got the zombies leaning when we beam them and uh that's what that's for and wesker was in a real memento like situation christopher nolan directed film situation because he didn't remember it was in his desk he needed to develop the the photography in order to look at the picture to know where it was because he has short-term memory loss and now we got that red dot sight uh we're gonna head back down through the police station down the elevator and back where we were there's another upgrade to pick up along the way and we're gonna get it so i'm really excited uh you know we're winding down this walkthrough there's gonna be three episodes after this um so you'll have tuesday friday tuesday friday and we will be done with wesker aka leon first run and we will bring back claire aka mystery you won't know what it is until it hits you but i think you're gonna enjoy it if you've enjoyed what we've done so far you're gonna enjoy that a lot it's gonna be really cool really something i haven't seen a lot of people do I've seen some people showcase a couple of the mods in a small showcase, but nobody used them the way we're going to use them or all of them at the same time either. I've seen people use a couple of the mods to showcase, again, like I said, the showcase. I haven't seen anybody run all of these mods at the same time. And it's going to, it's going to make a cool little, cool little what if scenario. And we're going to have fun with it. And here we got this, uh, high density frame. Use the, the bourgeois badge uh usb dongle for that and then you can discard it because you don't need it after that and uh the magnum is fully upgraded 
The one thing that kind of yeah about this game is every time you fully upgrade a gun, it basically goes from a one slot to a two slot. And uh but that is also why we grabbed all those inventory upgrades and got all the inventory upgrades so far. Uh is for that reason because everything takes a lot of space. So we're going to make our way through the treatment facility. We're going to grab this rook plug. It's the last plug we needed. And we're going to solve the chest puzzle. Um, but yeah, I hope that this day finds you beautiful. I've already said that, but uh, I still really hope that. And I finally got a chance to play Avengers today. And wow, oh wow, did I have fun with that. I had been debating bringing it to the channel um, because it's kind of a lot of people are doing it, which is kind of why we took a, a, a break from Ghost of Shishima is because I feel like there's an oversaturation of content and I have friends that are doing it and I don't like competing for views with friends. Uh, you know, I kind of like, I stay in my lane, you know, kind of thing. I like to do what I'm doing. And so we all aren't trying to step on each other's toes. That being said, my boy, Simply ADB, is doing a walkthrough of engineers it's gonna be sick he's a great youtuber one of my favorites one of my favorite people i've met on the platform awesome dude awesome youtuber he's doing a walkthrough and i kind of want to do one too like to be honest i've had a lot of fun here's that file we missed the first time through make sure you grab that um but i had a lot of fun with avengers i think where i'm gonna do it a little bit differently is I know people enjoy my previously on Ghost of Shishima and actually it's my favorite thing I do. Uh, so I think I know a lot of the levels were in the beta or there's crossover between a couple of levels in the beta. I'm going to previously on the things in the beta uh, in the same style, the same jokes, the same having fun, making up our own narrative through it uh, and showing just clips of the footage and having a good time with it so that's what we're going to do if it with the beta levels but we're also going to show stuff uh of course we're going to show stuff but i mean like i haven't seen a lot of walkthroughs showing all the collectibles and such so i'm going to try to pick up the collectibles uh i want to get everything i want to unlock everything I, I am so hyped to do uh some of the stuff in the game so you take the bishop plug out of there the king plug goes in here and then the queen goes next to it and in the third plug, the pawn stays where it's at. So you have queen, king, queen, pawn. Bishop goes here. We put the rook in the middle and we would already moved the knight over one in a previous episode. So if you didn't know, almost there, Ada. coming up next is a boss fight. And so we're going to prepare our inventory for that. And we kind of just gave you a quick glimpse there. Pause if you want. Uh, you can tell there's a boss fight because it gives you a full shield heal on the way like you grab a blue right here there's a green literally five feet away from it and then in the next room there's a red so it's, it's basically telling you you're gonna need this so there's a couple ways to tackle this boss fight and i'll get to that when we get there so we're kind of looking around here we're gonna grab this red herb we made a full shield heal, so we are prepared. Let's switch one, two, and four. Game doesn't tell you that. I don't even know where it tells you that if it does. Just something that I learned through trial and error and just something that's ingrained in my memory. So you run towards the door. It triggers Jesus that. Christ. This hand's gonna pop down on the ceiling a few times, three to five times to be exact. Keep it moving, run away. Don't waste your bullets. You can shoot at him and it'll make the hand pop down one or two times less depending on how much damage you do but not even worth wasting the bullets on just keep running keep moving it's gonna pop up three to five times and as long as you keep moving you won't get it i've been hit once before stay out of the fire as well and then when he moves i think the fourth about well, the fourth or fifth time you'll hear him move towards that metal door that we just looked at that one right there and when he gets to that door, you want to get on the left side of the door when you're facing it like we are right now and just run as soon as it pops open. Just run past him. Don't shoot. Don't do anything. Just run. Run your butt off and get past here. Try not to look that corner as wide as I did. If you take the corners wide, you'll be cutting it close. 
and he will one hit KO you right there if you do that. Now, there's a couple ways to tackle this fight. There's a way that I'm going to do it, and there's a, another way you can do it. Now, you can hit him with this semi truck trailer a few times, and it'll do a significant amount of damage every time. You can also do enough damage that you only have to do it only have to do it once the the bonus for that is you get a trophy for that the uh downside to that is it takes a lot more ammo uh so and you could do this technically with a handgun a flash grenade and a knife if if you do it the multiple tractor trailer load thing so you get him down to a knee you strike him with the knife as many times as you possibly can we haven't altered any of the graphical settings we're running at 1440p 140 frames per second or whatever it is that i have it set at whatever variable setting that my graphics card will take it at and now we will uh you know shoot him with the magnum a couple times oh we have one grenade round left that's something that most people won't have in their walkthroughs unless you're using the mod that gives you the grenade launcher we're gonna go ahead and waste that because we have it right so might as well get some free damage on him with that and now we're gonna switch back to the magnum and we're gonna we're gonna hit him down again and we're gonna finish him off uh if you were playing on hardcore difficulty you have to knock him down three times and do damage every time you knock him down to take him out with one tractor trailer but we're playing on standard so that's not the case it's only gonna take two and we're gonna hit him with the magnum if we would have been able to hit him in the eye we've been better off but we dropped him anyway now we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and hit this thing to get it coming back so it hits him when he's down and we don't have to worry about putting him down a third time and we're just gonna drain the flamethrower on him i don't know how much flamethrower would have actually taken but we're gonna give him the whole enchilada and if you see this cut scene right here you've done it if not there will be a different cut scene he'll not fall off and you'll continue the fight and have to end him with the tractor trailer again you have to hit him with the trailer regardless that's the only way you can finish the fight you can't just keep hitting him I've, I've tested it with the rocket launcher before you can't just keep pounding him with damage until he dies like you have to hit him with that thing and knock him off the last of them. it's a requirement so we'll pick up these magnum rounds luckily we only fired three shots again as I've said ad nauseum, the Magnum is not required. Uh, so since you have it, you might as well use it here. If, and if you don't have it, do it with the handgun. Just pop him in the eye, shoot him with the handgun in the eye on his arm. He'll drop down, slice him up, do it a couple of times, and then hit him with tractor trailer. It's another way to do it. Now we're approaching the end of this video. There's this another small cut scene here. I'll be quiet for that. Ada, Ada, where are you? Ada. I was getting worried there for a sec. I can't get it out. God, I don't know if I should die. Uh... Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. <sighs> Hold on. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? Yeah, relax, Jennifer. <sighs> The Jennifer mod is great. I am actually more excited for the Claire mods we're using, but I really enjoyed this Wesker and Jennifer mod. Oh, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. She's so saucy. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, we do. Yes, ma'am. All right. We're going to save the game. We're going to run up to the save room, save the game, and call it a day.
uh we will be back on friday with more resident evil and probably samurai jack the day before that so uh thank you for watching like comment share subscribe if you haven't already uh stay stay golden stay beautiful most importantly stay safe goodbye